Matt, you came here four years ago. Recruiting's been a little bit different for you. Um, you, you are a private school. Have you found that you, you're starting to be able to lure kids away from a, a Holy Cross, a Campbell County, a, a New Cath out here in Alexandria? Well, last year we started a middle school program, and uh, when we started it, our hopes was to get 25 kids on the team, uh, and that was our uh, objective. Uh, now we've got five schools that feed into us, and that's where we went and, and, and uh, talked to the kids. Uh, with that, uh, after signups, uh, we had we had about about 50 kids sign up for it, but you know you're not going to get them all. And we ended up having 37 kids on our middle school team last year, so we we're extremely excited about that. Uh, this year, that middle school team has about 45 kids, so uh, it has definitely increased uh, from that team last year. It has produced the largest freshman class uh, of 15 kids. Uh, and all of them, all but two, played on that uh, middle school team last year. So as far as recruiting kids, uh, we, we, don't, we don't go out, you know, and, and go in anybody else's school district. We don't go down in St. Therese and NCC school district. We, we stay in our area and we talk to our kids because we feel if we can get those, we can be good enough. You have your son playing here for you. He didn't right. play here as a freshman when you started the program. He came over from Scott. Right. How fun and how difficult has it been to coach your son? Well, it's been great. I think that uh, that's kind of every coach's dream to, to coach their kid. And uh, Kyle's been a great football player. Uh, you know, um, I, I can't say enough. He's almost been a coach on the field uh, for us. Uh, as far as line calls, all the line calls are done through him since he's our center. And the same thing with defense. You know, he's our middle linebacker, so he gets our defense set. Uh, so he's extremely important to us, and it's going to be tough to see him go next year. It really is. Yeah, when you talk about kids coming and going, some of these kids that have played with you for four years, right. um, you had to play freshmen at the the beginning of this program, right. and they, they they will now be seniors. But now you don't have to have to play freshmen. Right. So, how, what kind of luxury is that for you to, to know that this class has been there, this senior class has been there, and to know that they can pass on that legacy to those younger kids? The funny thing is, is one of the things that we talk about as coaches is this is this class. We've been relying on this class since they were sophomores. You know, most of these guys have started since they were sophomores. Almost all of them have. You know, so I mean, these guys are seasoned veterans by now. You know, uh, we've got ten seniors. Uh, we're proud of all of them. Uh, to be quite honest with you, all of them will start, all of them will play, uh, and they're all they're all pretty darn good. You know, so uh, it, it's a good position. Uh, you know, like I said before, we have 15 freshmen that are in, but I'll tell you, uh, you know, we've got two or three freshmen that are pushing for playing time right now. You know, so we're excited about that. Class 1A, you you have to play against Beachwood year in and year out, and they are the level of expectation at that level in the state of Kentucky. When you look at your program, what things do you emulate about their program that you really like, and what things do you think that you can do here at Bishop Rossert that will make the Mustangs special? Well, I'll tell you, I think that uh, when you talk about Beachwood, you just you talk about some of the great coaches that have come through Northern Kentucky, you know, with Coach Barry and then Coach Yegel and now Coach uh, Rash. Uh, those guys are all stellar guys and just outstanding coaches. And their assistants, you know, are, are just as good. You know, you've got Berger and Herget and, you know, uh, Coach Brills over there that do an excellent, excellent job. And those are just to name a few. I mean, all their guys are, are quality coaches. Uh, one of the things that we did here was is uh, you're going to pay a little bit more, but, uh, you know, one of the things that I explained to the administration and to, to the athletic director is, is position coaches are really where it's at. You know, uh, the better your position coaches are, the, the better your team's going to be. So that's where we really started. I feel that I've got uh, some of the best coaches in Northern Kentucky. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you what, you know, that's it. I think it shows on the field. You know, I really do. Um, as far as, you know, uh, other things that uh, we emulate from, from Beachwood is, uh, you know, they've always got one or two kids out there that have big names, that do big things. But for the most part, they play team oriented football. You know, and that's what we try to preach here. Uh, you know, there's no names on the back of our jerseys. We just go out there and play.
There you go. Well said from Matt Reinhardt, the head coach at Bishop Brossard High School. I'm Greg Shoemaker for TriStateFootball.com and QueenCityHigh.com.